Okay, so in this tutorial, uh, the request of one of my subscribers, I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to draw light and dark hair. Um, now, the key difference in distinguishing light and dark hair comes down to local value, okay? Something that is characteristically darker or lighter. Now, <clears throat> let's say we have a, a cylinder, like so, alright? And right next to it, we're going to do another one. Now, if this is characteristically darker, it's going to have more light. Now, well, first of all, let's first um, explain how this light and dark thing. When it comes to hair, it's almost like you picture, again, a cylinder like this, okay? And then, imagine light coming from up top. So what you're going to have is, there's going to be a highlight in the middle. It's like that. So along this line in the middle, there, that's where the highlight is, right here. Okay, so there's going to be shadow at the bottom and shadow at the top. So it's like if you had something like this, alright, it would be like this. And that's how you draw hair generally, okay? Now, because this is the part that's receiving the highlight. So say for example, um, this was this, um, darker hair, okay, or dark hair. What you'd have is, notice the highlight here has no marks, with dark hair the highlight actually has marks and you have solid black areas see so it's something like this see so notice I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm using um, you know a lot of strokes so that's what you'd have happen something like that see so you have the little highlighted areas in the middle but you still have lines there okay now when you have light hair, what you have is actually, um, you don't have any lines in the light area. So it's pretty much like this. You're very frugal or very, use very minimal lines or strokes to indicate light and dark, see? Um, and there's no solid black area that much. It's just really just lines that you use. Okay, so even if you were to demonstrate this using something like, um, let's say, a form like this. See, with um, with light hair, it's more like um, like this. See, the lines are kind of like going um, diverging out from the point. And at this point, it's like this. And that's all that you would do. You wouldn't need to really go in this area too much. But with with dark hair, you actually would fill it in. And some areas would actually be solid black. See that? So that's the key difference with drawing um, light and dark hair. In the light area, you actually see the strands of hair, but with light hair in the light area, you don't see it. See, in the light area, you don't see it. But with dark hair in the light area, you do see strands of hair, okay? So let's actually sketch out um, a, like a head and see how you know it'll look. So let's say we, um, even, even if you just draw a ponytail, right? It's gonna start with something really simple. Um, so let's just say we have something like that. Well, you can't really see it. You'll see it in a second because I'm drawing it really lightly. Okay. So I'm just going to sketch it in so you see what I was drawing. In terms of distinguishing both of them, with lighter hair, you're just using, you know, the strands alone to communicate the light and dark. So areas where the hair is like gathered is where you'll see the strands most, like here and right here. By the tip, this is where the, the strands come together. 
anywhere hair is gathered, that's where you actually see the um, the strands of hair individually. See, but the highlighted areas is left pretty light. Similarly, like like um, right here where the hair is gathered, where it begins. But right here, you won't really see much. So you'll just put one, you know, one or two strands there, and that's about it. See, and that's it. Okay, you won't really add much. See, and that's about it. Okay. Now, with um, with you know dark hair, you'd actually shade it in. So I'm, I would actually use something that's a little bit thicker, so I don't have to be drawing all those um, those marks I saw. So I'm actually using a brush tip. Now, even if we were to sketch in, um, let's say, a head in front view, okay? So we'll have something that looks like, um, Um, okay, so with this, it's pretty much just when she got a feel for the outline. And also, it's good not to enclose the hair. What do I mean by that? So, like areas on the outer contour, you leave the lines open in certain places. See, like that? And then I would just continue it here. You know, leaving the hair open is important for giving it a sense of um, movement and, uh, you know, that it's free flowing. It's not like just a fixed shape, okay? All right, so it's you know you're just using you're just making pretty much the outline and then let the the body of the hair pretty much speak the mass. Okay, you're not really going in and, and doing too much. Okay, you have to be very economical when you're drawing light hair. And even if you're drawing, um, you know, like tightly curled here, it's the same, same, pretty much the same concept.
And that's basically the idea. You know, you, in the dark, when you're drawing dark hair, you have solid blacks where the root of the hair is. Wherever the hair begins, you know, there'll be solid black there. And for lighter hair, where the root begins, you know, you just have the little strands of hair, but you won't necessarily have black, a solid black like you have here at the top. And also in the light areas, you will have a line. You still will have line showing. So there'll be no completely, uh, well, there, there will not be a lot of completely white areas when you're drawing dark hair. See, but with light hair, you will have areas that are completely light. See that? And that's it.